So guys, this is our washer and dryer. Um, I can't zoom out more because there is a wall behind me. It's a very small closet space. You can see here, there's a door here and there's a door on this other side. We also put our ironing board there. And then up top here, we have a really cool shelf where we can put most of our washing supplies. And you may wonder why there are so many of those detergent bottles. It's because we used to have them scattered about. We had like one in the car and one somewhere else and everything because we did not used to have a wash and dry in the house before. But let me show you a little close up of the controls here of the washer. This is a Whirlpool 3.5 cubic feet machine. Here we have the different soil levels. So that's how dirty your clothes is. The wash temperatures, which go from tap cold all the way to hot. Then these are the washing cycles. You have a bunch there. I think it's like 12, I, I remember. And then the start pause button, which you can also hold down to cancel a load. And apparently these little things light up. These right here. Oh, finger. Here we have the rinse options. You can either have normal rinses or you can rinse with fabric softener. And finally, the water level, which is kind of cool because it has this thing that automatically senses how much water it needs. Moving on to the dryer. Again, Whirlpool. This is a seven cubic feet dryer. Usually they say that you need double the cubic feet than the washer. So 3.5 for the washer and seven for the dryer. Here you have all the different like drying cycles. And over here we have the temperatures and the cycle signal, which is basically it does beep when it's done. This is the lint filter thing. Here are a few samples that we got that we're going to use today to do our laundry. And then down here you can see the, the door for the dryer. Let me open it for you guys. This is how it looks on the inside. Ooh, nice. And it says here... Oop, it's kind of tough to close. Made in America. Let's look inside of the washer. Q. Owen Wilson. Wow. And that's how it looks. This is an agitator, which is better, I read at least online, than an impeller because an impeller is more delicate, and this one, even though it's more rough, it does clean better. And as you can see, the, uh, the what's it called? Drum, drum yep. is made out of porcelain. It is not stainless steel, but that's okay. So, that's our little laundry room tour, I guess. So now we're actually going to do our first load of laundry in them and test them out, right? Okay. So first thing, I guess we've been given this sample of Tide Pods. I've never used these. Me neither. And so we figured we'd use it now and kind of see what it's all about. If you look at the back, it gives you two instructions. The first one is add the pack to the drum. And the second instruction is add clothes. So pretty simple. The rest of this is basically warnings like don't eat it, don't get it in your eyes. If you do, get treatment. Yeah. There's more warnings than there are directions, but... You know, it's funny because I didn't even know what Tide Pods were until the whole, like, people eating them happened. Yeah. I had never heard of them before. I had never heard of them either. Okay, so. let's do it. Well, the next thing we need to do is we need to look at this. I've never heard of this. It's apparently not a fabric softener. It's a fabric freshener. It has crystals in it and... According to the back, it just tells you to put it right into the drum, like a crystal fabric softener. Okay. And yeah, see, it says Unstoppable by Downy, and Downy makes fabric softeners. So yeah. I guess it's, I guess it's similar. It was a free sample. Yeah. So we're just gonna try it out. 
Okay, let's do it. So first we have to set this stuff, right? So what are we washing today? Sheets? Sheets. Okay. So I think hot. So yeah. And sheets. heavy. Oops. Well, practice probably actually medium because it's... Yeah, medium because it's not blankets. Yeah. Hot. Hot. Um, should we do bulky items and sheets? There's literally a thing that says okay, sheets. Good. So right. bulky items and sheets. I want to do two rinses. It's fine. Okay. Um, well, we oh, don't wait. have softener, so. We don't have softener. So just two rinses and water leavening. Leavening? <laughs> leveling. We're no, putting... just water level. Water level. <laughs> auto sensing. I think auto sensing is better because that's just like appropriate to however however much we put in there. I agree. Okay. Okay. So first thing we do is we start and we fill it a little bit, right? Yeah. Okay. The start so, button. Ooh, the light went on. It is the sensing. You guys, especially when you get a new washer, like pay attention to the first washes just to see if anything's wrong. Yeah. Keep an eye out, like don't have it on while you're asleep or outside of the house. Yeah. Oh, and you know what? There's actually something that we do need to go over. If we'll look up here. When you're doing things like sheets, it's a good idea to utilize something like baking soda to actually help get rid of any uh, odors or anything like that. So we're gonna get the baking soda off of here. We're gonna add this to our pile. We're using an Arm & Hammer pure baking soda. Not sponsored. <laughs> not sponsored. And up here, just some kind of generic white vinegar, not apple cider vinegar, no yeah, nothing it's crazy. distilled just white vinegar. Distilled white vinegar. Yeah. And here's the thing guys, vinegar to me is like death. I really really hate the smell. However, I saw in a bunch of like cleaning channels and just online in general that people use vinegar and we tested it once and it's actually... It's incredible. It's a miracle worker. Like yeah. the baking soda and the vinegar. I know people say they like cancel each other out but they work no. really really well. I mean even if they do it, it just still works. Well, the reason the baking soda, it will still emulsify, like, not, not emulsify, what's the word? There's a word. We'll just cut my stuff out there. They still work together, even if they, like, foam up. So basically, the, the baking soda, I think, takes out the odors, and then the white vinegar mostly fluffs things up. Yes. And they both kill, like, extra bacteria and stuff, which is really nice, so. Yes. So now what we need to do is we need to pause this, so we go... Pause. Now you now, can see the thing blinking. We can see it's blinking. Now it is filled with hot water right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift it up and be very careful because I can feel the heat coming off. Oh, really? This. Oh, yeah. Let's see how much it's gotten filled. It's probably just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. But now is a good time for us to put in our products. Yeah. So first things first, I guess this, this, this guy. Oh, oh, it feels weird. Oh, it feels oh, weird. Oh, yeah, it's super weird. That's Ew. so weird. I don't know how anyone could have eaten that. <laughs> Ew. Oh, it feels... Oh, you know, I bet... It does look pretty, I bet though. this uh, this out, outer part is some kind of, like, gel. Yeah, yeah, because... That it, will dissolve. It will dissolve, mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, Can that's interesting. Yeah. Oh, it is really pretty, I must say. It is pretty. Okay, put it in. Okay. In we go. I wonder if it'll, like, actually start to dissolve. Like, while Probably it's in there. Okay, next. Next up, our freshener. Here we go. Can do it. You know, we're just going to leave that hanging there. Okay, it's fine. That's fine. And we're going to kind of come over here, so I don't want to put it on top of that. Why don't you so. do it on this side? Because oh, we're going to only need this side and this side for like the vinegar and other stuff. So I'm just oh. going to kind of put there? it around here. These are going to be some clean smelling sheets. I'm oh, it does smell right good, I must say. Yeah. We are going to use baking soda. I'm going to put in half of a cup. Yeah, and that's supposed to deodorize smelly loads. Yes, so now let's go here. <laughs> it's also supposed to brighten whites and stuff. So it has multi-purposes. 
It's a little bit less than half a cup. I think yeah. that's okay. It's, it's that's, just approximate. Okay, so here we go. Okay, good. Next, what we're going to put in is half a cup of vinegar. Yep, distilled white vinegar, which again helps kill bacteria and stuff, and also like, ooh, mystical, uh, deodorize and all that stuff. Yes. Okay, so all of the stuff is in, and just so you know, guys, if you wanted to add like bleach, it's here not diluted and if you wanted to add fabric softener it's in here but then you have to fill it up with water afterwards until the max fill point that it says in there and only liquid fabric softener yes. crystallized fabric softener you put in like we did the other stuff yeah we literally just read through the whole manual for this yeah so we're oh, look it did pop open the the tide pod it's oh. it's bled out now so yeah that yeah don't say that <laughs> it's popped open and the outer has part is dissolved yeah so yeah, that's how we're going to put our stuff in. So go get our load of sheets. I'll be right back. Okay, let's see how many sheets it fits. Okay. These are queen-sized sheets. So, fitted sheet... Oh! Fitted sheet number one. Remember, it says to put it, like, loosely, not not super tight. We're or, not going to, like, push it down or anything. We kind of put it in... Yeah. Sheet number two... Sheet number two is a not a not fitted sheet, flat it's sheet. It's just uh, a normal uh, sheet. It's just a normal sheet. Go. Well, don't like wrap it around. You don't want it to be like tangled. Okay. I think that's good, right? And finally, we're gonna put in a third sheet, which is from a different set, but that's okay, because I'm pretty sure this one fits three queen size sheets comfortably. Yeah. So. Kind of throw another one in there. Okay, and that looks good. We're good. Ta -da. As you can see, we didn't like stuff them down or anything. They're just like sitting on there. Okay, mm -hmm. so I feel like we can close it now. Okay, closing. And three, two, one. Yay! Now we just wait for it to finish. Also, guys, it's important to know that this is a high-efficiency washer, so you have to use this kind of detergent that says HE for high efficiency, um, because otherwise it won't work properly. So make sure to check for that. It actually says high efficiency on your washer if it isn't. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. So right now, guys, we are at the rinsing stage. As you can see, the lid is locked. You can always just press the pause one, and after a while it will unlock. Okay guys, so as you can see, the cycle is done. That was pretty fast, wasn't it? Yeah, it was actually really fast. Yeah, and it made almost no noise whatsoever. None at all. Which was nice. I could barely hear it from the other room. So let's uh, put stuff in the dryer now. Sounds good. Let's grab the dryer sheets. Here we go. And I feel like in the future we might buy those wool balls that they say are really good for. Yeah. Like a replacement for this. It's not a bad idea. I usually put two in. I wonder how many there are here. Ooh. Is this like one big one or? Oh no. Oh, yeah, there's two. two. Perfect. Two dryer sheets. Away we go. Now let's get the clothing in there. So does it feel clean? It feels really clean and it. It smells amazing. Let's put it in. It smells so good. So, nice and loose, not tangled up or anything. Just throw it on in. There you go. Perfect. Let's close. It's a really, really stiff door. Yeah. And so, right here. what do we think? Ooh. Hmm. I think... Wasn't there one that automatically detected stuff? Or does it always automatically detect the moisture? I think... Maybe it's with the automatic dry that it always detects it? Yes, detects. it's probably this. So we're probably going to need to do automatic dry very dry. No, not very dry. Mm. Just like normal. Well, no, these are sheets. I think they need to be very dry. Why? Because they're it's very big and they're very damp. They're flannel, so they've held a lot of water. I think very dry. 
Okay, what is the fluff air? No heat. Okay, but what does that mean? How does so, it dry with no heat? I think it probably goes for longer, and it's just it's just moving air through the through the thing, so it tumbles it. But there's like a high wind going on inside, but there's no heat. Okay. Well, okay, I would probably put the one before very dry, but if you think that very dry is better, sure. I think very dry is better. Okay, let's try it. Okay. Isn't it the other way? Oh, do I have to pull on it? <gasps> <laughs> you saw nothing. Hey, there, there. There. Okay. Now, temperature, here. I think high. Really? That's like a lot. Just mid. You think medium? Yeah, let's do very dry medium. Yeah. Seems fair. And I I would like this. Oh. It says push to start. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, we I think he's going to just tap it and be like, oh, let's see. Boom, I tapped it. Yeah. So, we will be back when this is done. Okay. Okay, guys. So, the dryer just finished. Let's see if it actually dried. Oops, careful. <laughs> Oops. Let's see here. How does it feel? Oh, it feels, feels really dry. Feels good to me. Let's see how it smells. Oh, wow. <laughs> that smells heavenly. Yes. It looks nice, too. It does. It feels nice. It feels clean. Yep. One thing that you always have to remember is after drying, you need to get the lint from this lint filter thing. Ooh. I don't want here. We don't want it to, to fall in. That's the one bad thing about flannel sheets. They are very linty. <laughs> Look how satisfying though. Oh yeah. Lint is so weird because it feels like you're not touching anything. Because it's like mostly air. Yeah. It's weird. And now you can put that safely back in and that... Um, throw this out here. It's important to do that because if you don't take the lint out, you could cause like a fire. Yeah. Which by the way guys, I know it's boring, but it's important to read all the like fire hazard precautions and everything like that. Okay guys, so it just went from filling up and started washing. So we're going to pause it real quick just to see how much it sensed to fill up the tank. Okay. We're we press drunk. here to pause. Let's pause. It says wait a little Ooh, bit. It's really, really hot. Let's, let's see. Try opening it. There we go. Oh. Okay, yeah, so it filled it almost to the top, not oh. quite. That's good to know that um, three sheets yeah. It was basically three queen size sheets is what is the maximum that I guess it it takes. Yeah. Yeah, it's looking nice. Perfect. And by the way, these are other sheets because we forgot to film this with the previous one and we're doing a second load. So Yay. yeah, let's continue. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. There's literally a do, hole there. I kind of do it from there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and, and start again. Start.